what okay provision for depreciation account okay now we are doing this sum of cash flow which is of october november 22 iel accounting now in the cash flow you have two things first thing is you have to find the depreciation of current year okay for yeah. depreciation of current year you do closing depreciation provisions plus the disposal depreciation minus the opening yeah. depreciation this is one way where you just have to find out the depreciation of current year to add to your profit before interest and tax are you with me yeah the yeah. other way to make the provision for depreciation account is your opening depreciation accumulated depreciation year closing depreciation year depreciation on the asset disposed over year so you get the depreciation of current year are you with me Mm, yeah. So if they ask you to make the account, so this is the account. This account okay. only I have put in the vertical form, closing at disposal minus opening. You get this. Okay, sure, sure. With me? Yeah. Okay. Now we'll read the question properly and see what we have. A junior accountant has drafted the operating activities, and he has given us this incorrect cash flow statement. Are you with me? Yeah. Okay. You have profit from operations. You have depreciation, profit on sale, loss on sale. Then you have working capital changes. Interest paid, tax paid, and you have cash flow from operating activities. You're there with me, right? Yeah. And then you have your asset section. On the question. So I want to make my provision oh, okay. for depreciation you... account. Provision for depreciation account. I know how to make it. Opening accumulated depreciation year. Closing accumulated depreciation year. Disposed year. I want for the current year. This is my non-current asset section. When I do the markings, what do I have? Tell me, property, plant, and equipment goes under which activity? Investing. Property, plant, and equipment goes under investing activity, and the depreciation goes under which activity? Depreciation goes into your operating. Your depreciation goes into the operating activities. Now, what is my A part is that they have asked me to prepare a property a provision for depreciation account. So, this is opening, this is closing. Where will the opening go? So, opening will go on the credit side. Where will the closing go? On the debit side. On the debit side. What is the closing depreciation? 27.66. Okay. You know, now this is balance begin down and this is balance close down. Balance begin down. Yeah. Okay. Current assets is what section when you're doing the marketing? Current assets is investing section. Yeah. Oh, this one comes under now. Working up. Working capital changes. Okay, come on, tell me the working capital changes. Increase. Um, if assets increase, they get subtracted. And if uh, liabilities get increased, they get added. Increase. Uh, trade receivables are decreased. Decrease, that means will be decreasing, so it is added. This, yeah. is, this is going to come at the end. Yeah. Trade and other payables. Uh, it has decreased, so you will decrease it. Subtract it. Okay, fine. Tax paid? You will increase it. So you'll add it. It is at the end of operating activities. 
tax oh yeah, yeah. Tax paid minus tax paid see the it is just yeah. a format based chapter okay now i am still on the property provision for depreciation account i have information related to it come on what is the information related to depreciation plant that uh, has cost how much 648000 depreciation 265000 Sold for three hundred eleven thousand. So what this is sold for will go in which activity? So the investment. Inflow outflow. Out inflow. Inflow. Okay. Yeah. What is the carrying value of the plant? Six forty eight minus two sixty five eight five three. करेक्ट Okay, so this will be corrected to seventy-two thousand. Are you with me? Yeah. Depreciation and asset disposed is how much? Two hundred and sixty-five thousand. Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. So my first information is sorted. Yeah. Now the second information. Come on. Again, it is related to plant only. Property. Okay, come on. Property. The cost is nine hundred ninety-nine thousand. Property Bill. cost is how much? Nine 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 hundred ninety-nine thousand. Minus nine hundred ninety-nine thousand. Minus accumulated depreciation will give me carrying value. Hmm. Value is how much? The the book value is seven hundred ninety thousand. Sold and for. It was sold for nine thirty-five. Okay, what is the accumulated depreciation? Sorry. I don't have a calculator, or I would have. One five five. Sorry. One one hundred and fifty five. Accumulated depreciation, I asked you. But there is no depreciation, right? They didn't mention depreciation. Darling. Something of cost yeah. this much, book value this much, sold for this much. Oh, okay, sorry, I counted the depreciation. Yeah, two hundred ninety. So accumulated depreciation is two hundred and nineteen thousand. Where will this go? Yeah. It will get added on depreciation. Yeah. What is the profit on sale? Yeah. Profit on sale is. Profit on, is one hundred and fifty-five. Profit on sale is one hundred and fifteen thousand. So even this is wrong. No, no, one hundred fifty-five. One hundred and fifty-five thousand. Yeah. So profit on sale, this is correct. Yeah. Loss on sale is added. Profit on sale is subtracted. This amount is correct, but he has done the wrong treatment. Wrong okay, treatment, yeah. yeah, yeah. And this sold yeah. for this is which activity? This wasn't investing activity. Investing activity inflow. Yes. Are you with me? Yes. Now I have to check the depreciation. Is it correct or no? There is no other buying or selling of asset, so I have to find the depreciation of the current year. This full total is three two five zero 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 zero. So I'm just removing the three zeros from everywhere. So the depreciation of current year. Three two five zero 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 zero. 
that goes in the statement of pro comprehensive income statement. Two sixty. Two sixty three. So this is the depreciation of the current year. So when this amount is wrong, and you add the non cash non operating expenses, so depreciation is two sixty three thousand. First you do this yeah. much, and wait for you. So we have done things that is related to depreciation and our junior accountant had done some mistake. He started with profit from operation. He had deducted depreciation wherein you had to add depreciation. A wrong amount was deducted. Profit or loss on sale of asset also he did as something reverse. So we have to do these changes and arrive at operating cash flow before working capital changes. Are you with me? Yeah. Okay. Apart from that, there is some additional information also given to us, but we were asked to prepare a provision for depreciation account, which we already did. Correct? Yeah. Okay. Now, what is it that is asked for us? We have to correct the statement of financial position that is given to us. Yeah. Statement of financial position. Okay. The cash flow statement. Wait, statement of financial position or the cash, the cash flow, flow statement that is given to us, we have to correct it. Yeah. There is a draft uh, cash flow statement that is given to us. We have to correct it. Are you with me? Yeah. This is what they have asked us in the part B you have to make the cash flow from operating activities. Okay. Cash flow from operating activities. And then you have to show the cash flow used in financing activities. So we will do the part B now. Are you with me? Yeah. Okay. We will read ahead. Interest on bank overdraft for the year is 11,000. Tell me where will this interest go? Interest will go into your uh, working capital in the end. Sorry? I will keep this. It will go into your working capital in the end. Working capital? Interest? Yeah, your tax and interest you pay it at the end. Interest paid, tax paid. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This comes uh, between cash generated from operations and cash flow from operating activities. And working I still don't know what is the interest that I have paid. I know that the interest on bank overdraft is how much? Uh, 11,000. Are you with me? Yeah. Okay. On 1st April 2022, a four-year bank loan was taken. Bank loan. Taking mm -hmm. bank loan is what activity? Investing. I mean, no, no. It comes below working capital. Bank loan is which activity? Operating activity, investing activity, or financing activity? Financing activity. So bank loan, financing activity, I have taken in the current year. I have a bank loan of 500,000. This is inflow. Yeah? yeah. It has 10% yeah. interest. Yeah. Can you calculate interest for me? 50,000. 500,000 into 10% and this will be from April to September because my year is ending in September 22. So April, May, June, July, August, September. Six months. Six months. Interest is 25,000. So interest on yeah. bank loan 
is how much? Twenty-five thousand. Interest on yes, back loan is twenty-five thousand. So the total interest that I have to pay would be eleven thousand for the bank overdraft and twenty-five thousand for the bank loan. The total interest would be thirty-six thousand. Minus interest paid. Okay, thanks. May I ask you to repeat again? There is interest on bank overdraft eleven thousand. Yeah. There is interest on bank loan twenty five thousand. Yes. Can you see anything? Can you see anything that any interest is pending? Mm, interest pending. Uh, interest no. No. That means interest is paid. Yeah. How much interest is paid? Thirty-six thousand. So interest paid would be how much? Thirty-six thousand. So interest paid is thirty-six thousand. So even this was wrong of our junior accountant. Are you with me? Yeah. Yeah. Tax so you will not change. Yeah. Tax paid. Minus interest paid, tax. minus tax paid. Which year tax will uh, you pay? Uh, last year. Last year, three hundred and five thousand. So this tax paid yeah. is it correct? No. So this would be three hundred and five thousand. Yeah. Is there any information? Profit after interest was four hundred and twelve thousand. Now profit, we take which profit over here? Twelve thousand. There of uh before uh, before profit uh, tax profit and interest. before interest and tax. Yeah. So profit after interest is four hundred and twelve. They have not said after tax. So they didn't. Uh, we have to add. I will interest. add back the interest. So how much is the interest that I have to add back? Thirty-six thousand. Thirty-six thousand. I will add back. So this will start with four forty-eight thousand. Yeah. Okay. So listen to me. This is wrong. The depreciation was wrong. This was wrong. Operating profit before working capital changes. Now let's see about the. Changes in the working capital. Come on, inventory. Inventory has increased, so I have to subtract. This I have to add because it has decreased. And trade and other payable, it has decreased. I have to subtract. Check the amount. Increase in inventory. How much? Increase in inventory one four four five. How much? Hundred and eighteen thousand. One one eight yeah. So you have to subtract, but he has added over here. So this is wrong. You have to subtract. <laughs> Increase in trade receivables. Oh no, decrease in trade receivables. How much? Thirty six thousand. So you mm. have to add, but he has subtracted. Yeah. So he has done yeah. wrong plus and minus. Decrease in trade and yeah. other payables. This is thirty four thousand decrease. So you have to subtract. Yeah, this is correct. He has done this correct. Now keep all this in mind and prepare a corrected statement of. Cash flow from operating activities. I'm giving you time. Try to digest. Uh, financing activities is the redemption. The B part is you have to find out. Some of the shares, then the is proceeds the of the bank loans and the dividend paid. Or from financing activity. What comes in financing activities is shares, debentures, loans, and all such things. Correct. Yeah. What comes in financing activity? Shares, debentures, and loans. Okay. Yeah. So now tell me what will come in financing activity. 
like from the question yeah financing activity what will come in financing activity uh the bank gold uh sorry, sorry the loan for 500000 500000 yeah. what else yeah. uh there's no shares on no no can you check the property plant and equipment uh, schedule okay if I see the carrying value of the asset has increased, can you see this? Yeah. But they have given me information only of two assets sold. Yeah. Unless they separated just the property and the It means one asset was purchased, but information related to it is not given to us. Opening Miss property value only is 999,000. One minute. Opening value of asset is given to us 8763. Yes. Closing is given to us 8358. Yeah? Yeah. Two assets were sold. One had cost 648 and one had cost triple nine. Yeah. If I close this account, I will get the property purchased in investing activity. Can you close this account and find out purchases for me? You have purchased a property plant and equipment of 1, 2, 4, 2. This is outflow. Yeah. And there was two inflow. 311,000. 311,000 and 935,000. So there is a net inflow outflow for investing activities. Can you check? There is a net inflow or outflow? Four. Inflow for. Sorry? What is the total of this? Total of what? Uh, 31195. Mm -hmm. So 1246. So 1246. Yeah. And this is 1242. Yeah. So, four, so there's an inflow of 4000. Yeah. Investing activity. Yeah? Yeah. So for operating activities, what do we have? In operating activities, we have 171,000. Investing activities, yeah. we have 4,000. Yes. For financing activities, check. Yes, we only have 500,000. Sorry? Yeah. Interest on bank loan. Interest on bank loan was uh, twenty five thousand. Sorry. Twenty five thousand. Interest on bank loan. Bank would offer eleven thousand. It's still missing. Is one information one missing one. about this is the asset is the liability side missing. Can you check? Yeah, I think that's it. 